Hello, my friends. Welcome back in year four, contract year for three or four of our players. We've normally been starting with Matt Broadway. Today, he's he's fine. He's, he's got a contract. He's good. We're going to start at the bottom of our short list and see if some of those players have moved. I'm going to do my best not to show you the list for too long so you can kind of see the teams. I'm just going to click on the first name at the bottom, and we'll take it from there. Oh, I want to know, have they, have they left FC Ukraine United in Toronto and, you know, Tanzim and all that? Let's go take a look. My computer sometimes is like, I don't feel like showing you that. Short list. Dustin Kraus. He is moved. He's getting paid. 275 a week. Nice. He's up to 20 caps, 10 goals. Okay, we've got some progress here, people. This looks slightly better than I remember. Okay, he's on a rotation contract. That's fine. It looks to be a one-year deal. It's a one-year deal for... Istik... Is that LOL? Like, Istiklul? Istiklul? I don't... I'm, I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't actually know. FC Istiklul Dushanbe. Still in Tajikistan. Okay. Let's go back. Let's see what... Did they just leave on a free... On, no, they bought him for 825. A whopping 825. So that's... How did they pull that off? Are, are the contracts different? Because you would think he would have been in that time frame when you could just offer a free end of contract contract. So did he re-sign with Tanzim and then they flipped him? We'll never know. We'll never know. Okay, so he ended up with 30, 12 and 32. That is a little more respectful. That's like one every two and a half-ish, two and three quarters. Uh, five assists on a 7 on one So he, he got back in form because he was one every four. Okay. So he started banging him in, got some interest, and made the move. And okay, so it's it's the middle of the of the season. He's on a one year deal. It's like probably dead center of their season. Which should mean he'd have like 16, 17 games. He has nine. He's on a rotation contract. That makes sense. Nine starts and assist, or nine starts and a sub, three goals, two assists on a six six one. But but my friends, five starts in continental play with five goals, two assists, three players in the match on an eight. Oh, six. Romping that, was it, uh, whatever, say the a uh, Asian Cup or something like that? Um, Asian Champions League? We'll take a look. Three international starts, two goals, and a player of the match on a 707. So, again, I, I like the international experience because maybe that means, like, eventually you make it to a big tournament or something like that and you get noticed. The Confederation Cup. That's what I, the Asian Confederation Cup is what I was trying to say. Um,. Oh, I, I can. I guess we can't see. Can we see the Asian Confederation Cup? Because I always want to know. Oh, I, oh, that would be more West Asian, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I, sh I should probably just cut this out. Or maybe is it Central Asian? Let's look at all the groups just to see if we've got our team. No, that's that's too far west. So maybe Central. All groups. Okay, they won their group. In part because of our, our player. Yeah, yeah. Five wins over... Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, not heard of any of these. Dordo, Ole, and Balkan. Oh, I started to feel guilty because I was like, are those countries? I, I wasn't thinking through that. Okay, and then what, what, what was the next phase? Or is there a phase? Oh, and they're through the groups. Okay, that's exciting. So... Excellent stuff there. But again, same same situation. Is he going to get a new contract? Has he earned himself a new contract on a 661? It's like, well, in the in the continental competition, he's he's awesome. He won every game, right? One goal every game, throwing a couple assists. So debatable there. Debatable there. Okay. Um here we go. Right, right next. We're just hopping right in. Ooh, he's not happy. He's not happy. He's not happy. Oh, he's not is he not played? Oh no. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> I'm really confused. This is year four, right? How has nothing happened? Is it a weird thing with the scheduling of the seasons? And he's. And he signed a contract last year through 2023. 
I don't know what to make of that. That's a hot prospect contract. I mean, I mean, either anyway, you cut it. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I'm sorry, Gregory. It's not good. Have you been injured? Okay. All right. Looks to all be minor stuff. Nothing. Nothing too crazy. Huh. Okay. I'm a little confused about just because we saw this last episode. How is it not showing us? I don't even know what's happening right now. I could have sworn last season this said 2020 with the move, but maybe it's a weird thing with the now that he's in this league. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what is going on. Okay, Byron Hill has moved and he's getting paid. Byron was the one on three a week, right? He's up to 190 a week. Okay, just happened. Right? Yes. So he was still playing for New Hope. 15 starts, five goals to assist on a 7-3-4. And then they came in. Why are our players going to South America? Is that a common thing that I'm not aware of? Is that Liberian players go to South America and and and, all, and so on and so forth? Or is it just that I have those leagues loaded? Like, I loaded every league. I made that change. We have every league loaded. They paid five and a half grand for him. I mean, he just moved. So, okay, so he's been in a non-competitive game, whatever. Um, will we start seeing some development out of Byron Hill? I'm just excited he's getting paid more than three a week. Let's be completely honest. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Interesting. Toby Marchant has made a move. He's now with Gyeongnam FC. Sorry if that's wrong. And they signed him in January. So it looks like maybe he just left the club. It, okay. Okay. 8-32 and 32 versus, again, last season. But how many assists? Mm, didn't really tally up any more assists after we talked about it last episode. And he moves on a free. I just realized he's in South Korea. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. I mean, it's in the region, like. Again, I wonder if that's a football manager thing with the leagues that you have that that you have loaded versus you know him moving to another league like that isn't loaded. Um, Ten substitute appearances, so they're like working him into the squad. One start, one goal, six six nine. Not the best, but now maybe he's someplace where he can start to really develop, right? So he's, can we see some of these increasing because they've got better infrastructure or something like that to kind of to show him off and he's played in the reserve limits mean, the reserves okay world cup qualification <laughs> eight starts on a six two eight although to be fair that can't be exclusively his it's not like he alone was that bad like you'd think the Bhutan team's not that good um two two starts in the asian nations cup qualifying with a goal and a 7.0 so maybe it's, he wasn't getting service you know he wasn't getting good service that's why that's why injuries I mean, he had a back string for three weeks. Not not the best when you're wrapping up your contract. So let's be be honest about that. So curious that they let him go on a free. Greg Baxter. Oh, no, Greg. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, he's not played. Oh, he's not played. Oh, that's, the, that's not so great. Oh. No. Wait. How'd you get a bruised ankle if you're not playing? Wait a minute. Oh, is it broken? I'm a little worried it's broken. Cause that's twenty we're in twenty twenty one. That would have been this season. That wouldn't have been the twenty twenty calendar year season. So now I am worried that maybe this just wasn't the right league like i said when i first set this up i i went through the first season i recorded the intro all that kind of stuff we went to the end of the season and like four players hadn't played at all based on the leagues they were in so i was like okay hold on and i i vacationed for like four years and we still ended up with like two or three players that didn't play a lick this was not one of them because he was getting games right so oh, now i'm just worried right like that 
doesn't make sense that it's just stopped. Especially because he has an injury. His contract doesn't expire. It's, it's an amateur team. Is he ever going to leave? We'll find out, Greg. It's too late to go back now, right? We can't. I can't restart the series. But, man, that doesn't make any sense. You've got a good player in Toronto that nobody is. And he's played at the U23. He's at least been on the Canadian national team radar, right? The U23 level. That doesn't make any sense. Jason Duncan. Still with Sheffield Wednesday, 975 a week. Did they loan him out? No. Oh, that's not good. 16. I mean, it's non competitive. He had one sub in the cup and in the league, did not play well. Hmm. Calendar, I mean, uh, contract year coming up. So they'll have to make a decision by January. We'll have to see what happens there. But that. That's that's not that's not what you want to see. You want to see him go back on a loan. I mean, they've got him listed for loan again. Nobody interested right now. I was hoping he would have gotten loaned out last season. Hmm. All right. Let's move on, I guess. Matt Broadway is apparently the star of the bunch. I, there is one other player I think I've missed. They got relegated in 2021. And now... Shrewsbury, who are currently in League One, have a, a a loan bid in. He's got okay, a couple others. Is he getting playing time? I, I think at this age, it, like it's like if this if the, if this was your kids, yeah, just get playing time, get playing time wherever wherever you got to go. And he's getting non-competitive playing time and two substitute appearances in the league. Not what we are going for. So. Hopefully he'll make that loan move go down to League One from the, now the championship, right? So, the, or or wait, wait, hold on. They're going to be in League One too. So that probably means no. They, I, I would imagine they would say no to that, right? Unless they just don't have room on the in the match day squad for him. But it's like, would you loan him out to somebody else in League One? We'll find out next time. Again, calendar year or calendar year. I keep saying that. Contract year for him coming up. Got to perform. I mean, they could do the extension. Has he? Ha did he have any injuries? Tight hamstring. Okay, that's what didn't help. So they're trying to loan him out maybe last summer, and then he breaks his ankle for three months, and then no one's going to loan you. You'd have to wait for the January transfer window. Oh, man, injuries have played a big part in this experiment, more than I was anticipating, to be honest with you. And then, last but not least, we got Gerardo Chavarria, 1.1K rotation contract, still with Colo Colo. Let's just, go, let's just go back and look. Six subs, two goals, on a 6-7-8 in the league. Five cup starts on a 6-7-2, no goals. Three continental subs on a 6.8. It's okay. And then thus far this season, okay, he's he's in the well, he's not in the starting lineup, but he's made five starts versus so he has six total appearances versus last season he had six total appearances all subs. So that in itself is progress. Two goals, six six six, not the best, but at least he got some starts. And then Continental seven point eight in the Continental, so contract. Okay, he signed a new deal, so he's happy with the rotation contract. He's good for. What is that? Another two and a half seasons. He got 38 grand for his troubles. You know, he's developing. He's not an all-out starter. He's definitely playing more in the U19s. He just turned 20. So I'm not sure if, the, if he can still play, you know, the rest of the season in the U19s because he was still 19 when it started or something like that. But we'll have to see, can he break through into the starting lineup for Colo Colo? That's this is not how I expect this to go. I, I thought for sure Greg Baxter would be with an MLS squad by now, like one of their youth teams or somebody else, and he is not. But everybody else moved for the most part. I mean, not everybody else that I thought might make a move or needed to make a move made a move. We'll have to see what happens with Gregory Bros and Greg Baxter. And again, you know, yeah, I think it was what Jason Duncan's in the contract year. We got some players in contract years as well. So it'll be exciting once we get to episode five. Again, we're trying to get to 50 likes on every one of these. That would be absolutely insane. So I'm going to ask you at the very end hit that like button, leave a comment, 
Let me know who you think moves next and where to, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.